Fish on! We're on, we're on! Oh, what is this thing? Put your buddy bibs on. You're gonna start dribbling, because Phil Day's in the kitchen. What is going on, my doggies? Welcome back to another video. Oi, buckle yourselves up, because we're about to have so much bloody fun. This is what's going on right now. Outside, the car is reading 45 degrees Celsius. I'll put whatever that is down there for the Americans in Fahrenheit, but it's pretty bloody hot outside right now. What we got happening is, we got the bow and arrow and noodle rod sitting on the bonnet of the car outside. Aim of the game, to drive along this, this beautiful watery bank here right now, it's a mid-tide, tide's coming up. We're gonna be seeing if we can spot sharks, we're gonna see if we can spot mullet, big trevally, big queenies. If we do see them, we're gonna get out of the car, grab the bow and arrow or the noodle rod, launch arrows at a couple of fish in hopes to have a hell of a feed this afternoon but right now we're just waiting for that tide to push up we're just going to be cruising along this coastline keeping a very 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 keen eye out for anything we can eat look at this man this is killer Just out here, there's something splashing under that. Oh, go, 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 go. All right, go. Go, go, go. All right, we got a little school of diamond scale mullet. They were just under that tree just there. Big turtle over there, look, big turtle. I've got the polarizing lens on this camera, so hopefully you guys can see in the water as well. This little shark. Couple of little sharks out there as well. Spewing! Unfortunately, those diamond scale mullet, they're a little bit too quick for me. By the time I got out of the car and ran down here, they were gone. We've got to be real quick. We get out of the car and run and shoot. Big old turtle. Here we go, here we go. Big school of mullet. Oh, yeah, the water's so dirty, I can't even see him. There's a big school of mullet right here. Let's see what they do when they come up to this mangrove here. They might pull up into this corner. They're just back there, look. Go, 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 go. Let's see if we can pull them around. They're coming, they're coming in hot. Nah, they're too far out. We'll drive back up, we'll see if we can flank them up there. There they are, right there. They're moving so quick, man. They're punching this way as well. Here we go, they're coming. They're coming. Oh, I'm just gonna have a crack. Nah, no good. Oh, let's keep moving. Wait, right, check this out, man. Those fish, I followed those fish the whole way down the coast and they've, they've pulled up just here. There they are, there. Oh, I got one. Oh, he got off. I just had one on the arrow, bruh. Go again, go again. We just smoked one. But he got off. Big splash, big kick. And he got off. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, come on. <laughs> that was so close, man. Oh, come on. Dude, it's that much fun doing this thing right now. Bow and arrow, just slinging. I'm just slinging pot shots. I'm not even aiming at those fish. I'm just try, just trying to throw an arrow into a school of them. You can't really aim them up when they're moving that quick. They move super fast. The water's dirty, but dude, it is that much fun. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drive up a little bit more. If we don't have any luck, what I want to find is a big school. So if I don't have any, any luck, we might put the drone in the air. We'll look up from the top, and we'll have a big bird's eye view. Find a school of fish. Pull up on them. Boom, see if we can get one that way, but dude, this is so fun. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah! That is food, that is food, that is food, we got food. Oi, it's not the biggest fish in the world, but we got food. Look at that for a shot, straight through its bloody head. Straight through its eye. Probably not the best eating size fish, but I tell you right now, that is a bloody good bit of bait right there. 
Beautiful bait. See if we can get a couple more. I might, um, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I want to get a couple more for Mulloway bait or Silver Ghost bait. Wait here. Here we go. Let's stop messing around. They're going to get a couple of fish for the freezer. They're going to get a couple of beautiful mullet for Mulloway bait. Those fish out there are some of the best bait you can ever set your eyes on. Grab half of that net under your arm. Boosh! Over your shoulder. Like we always do, 50-50 this section up here. We're on. Let's throw this net over those mullets, see if we can get a couple because they are just way too good for bait, man. Oh, they're still there too, look. They're still there. Sha! Well, that's no good. It got stuck on me bloody shirt. Don't worry about that, but we got a coupler. We got a coupler. We got more than a couple. We got about a hundred in here. <laughs> Have a go at this here. We've got bait for days. Obviously, we're not going to be eating any of these fish in today's mission. Oh, we probably could, you know. We've got enough right here, but we've got some bloody beautiful bait. That right there is a perfect little mullet. Some of the best bait going. We've got about 20 to 30 of them down here just in one throw of that net. What I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze them up. I'm going to keep them fresh. We're going to use these in another video, obviously, to catch some bigger, dirtier fish. But that is the best way to get bait. If you can find it yourself out in the bush, it's fresh, it's beautiful, and you're not supporting those big dirty boats that drag nets through the ocean. This, believe it or not, is probably more of a sustainable way to get bait than buying it from your local fishing shop or down at the bloody petrol station, but that's just my opinion anyway. Well, that was definitely worth pulling over and uh, throwing the net over them. This is what we ended up with. That is a big bag of fresh mullet, some of the best bait going. We're gonna bang them in the freezer. Next time we go fishing, we know we've got some of the best bait caught by yours truly. So there's a lot of mullet in that little bag out of that one throw. That's all you need sometimes. That throw wasn't even that good. You got caught up on my shirt halfway through the release, but hey, we still got bait. All right, let's continue this mission. We'll keep punching up there. Bow and arrow is gonna come back out. I would love to put a bend in the noodle rod as well. So these little fish are gonna go in the freezer. Let's keep going. Oh my god! Oh, doggies, 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 check this shit out. I don't know what just happened then. Oh, this is hectic! Oh, look at this, man. All right, check this shit out. I just seen an explosion on the water. Probably a big shark hitting this big school of fish here. It's windy. It's going to be very, very hard to get my lure out there, but we're going to give it a we're going to give it a crack. Sight! Oh, fish on! Fish on! Fish on! Are you kidding me right now? Oh, right, we're gonna fish on! <laughs> Don't mind if I do! That was unexpected. First cast of the day. Have a look at that thing. That's called a queenie. It's like a, it's like a mirror. They're a beautiful fish. That's first cast of the day, first fish of the day. Let's get him back in the water. Let's see what's happening out there because there's chaos going on. Beautiful fish. See you, mate. Wait, out there it's going crazy, dude. What we're gonna do right now is change lures. This lure's not heavy enough. There's a big school of fish, they're about 20 meters out, and this lure's just not doing the job. Come on, give me a lure very, very quickly. That one there. Right, oh, here we go. Back out into that school of fish. Ha! Oh, we got the hell distance going on now. Come on. Show me what you got, big dogs. Oh, jeez. Oh, we're we're on, we're on, fish on. Oh, oh God, what is this thing, bruh? Noodle rod, look at the noodle doodle. <laughs> bruh, that smoked that lure. Little baby Queenie, bow hooked him. All right, we're gonna go. We gotta find those fish. Those fish were in a big, thick school out here and they've just pieced out. I don't know where they've gone. I reckon they would have swam down the coast. So we're just gonna keep out a real bloody keen eye. That water is filthy. It's so hard to see through, but you can just see them if they're on the surface. So hopefully we'll be able to pick them up again. Here we go. Might be a little school of fish here. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> That's not big, but we found the fish. 
Oh, a little trevally. That's not bad. Beautiful little trevally. Look at that thing. What a beautiful fish. We get one a bit bigger, we're gonna eat him in a curry. But he's a bit too small. That one's he's going back. See ya, mate. Dude, these fish move so quick. They're flying down here. We'll just keep driving up on them. We're gonna keep fishing and we're gonna get something good. There's a school of fish right there, man. Bang! Bang, bang, bang. We got fish on. I think we got a fish on. What's going on here? It's very, very strange. Oh, what is this thing? Very, very, very strange. It's bloody heavy. Here we go. Look at that one. That one's a much, much, much better fish. Beautiful trevally. Smash, man, that was a hell of a fight on this tiny little noodle rod. One to four pound setup. We've got that beautiful little trevally on the deck. This one here is gonna be dinner. It's not a bad size. It could probably go about, I don't know, 50 centimeters. That's gonna be a beautiful fish. Fish. Big mob, big mob. What do we got here? Oh, this thing's going hard, man. Fully buckled rod. Look at the rod. Fully buckled. Oh, look what happened. Okay, okay. I'll take it. Get up here. <laughs> Have a look at this for a little bit of a bloody bycatch. catch. That right there is a monster mullet, dude. This is why you call a sea mullet. You can see. See the beautiful, I don't know if you guys can notice the colours, but the beautiful blue colour in his tail there. Nice blue colours, that's a sea mullet, big dog, he's huge man. What we did, we foul hooked him in the back of the, back of the, we foul hooked him up here, look. That hook will just fall straight out. But that is a big dirty mullet. You know what we're going to do with this? We're going to go fitty fitty. We're going to eat half of this, we're going to eat half of that fish we got in the fridge where we just got two minutes ago. And they're going to see which one tastes better. All right, we definitely don't need any more food. We've got a beautiful trevally. We've got a big stinking mullet in the fridge right now. So that is so much food. What I want to do, I want to get the drone back up in the air and show you guys what it actually looks like from a bird's eye view. There's a shark swimming around. By the looks of it, there's a couple of turtles. And then there's just this very congested school of mullet. There's like a hundred of those mullet in the middle of this school. So I want to put the drone up and have a look for myself. I wish I want to show you guys what it looks like, but Man, it looks pretty dope. Well, as you can see, we've got two turtles, which are just having a time of their lives. There's a big school of mullet just above that turtle there. There's a big shark hanging around before. That's only about a meter of water right there. It's very, very shallow. Well, she's a dusty old track, this one. What we're doing right now is we're cutting cross country. I'm just gonna cut across. We're gonna go find a mad place to camp. I've got more than enough food now. We've got one big old trevally. We've got one big dirty stinking mullet. Both of them are gonna taste mm, the way we're gonna cook them up around the fire later on. But uh, for now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get out of this dust bowl country. We're gonna go find somewhere to make a little bit of a camp for the afternoon. Time right now, four o'clock in the Arvo. We've secured food. Everything is good. A little bit windy outside, but it's all right. So uh, that's where we're at. We're just bouncing across this rocky ass track right now. We're gonna go find somewhere to camp for the night. We're gonna be on. Oi, 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 snap it. What my bad. Oh shit, here we go. Flat stick into a rock. Boom, fire. A little bit of a jump. What? Big lizard. Look at his claw. Look at his tail. Big lizard. He's actually right there. He's right there walking through the bush. Big dog. kitchen we're gonna go cook up one hell of a feed and I am starving 
We've got about two hours of sunlight left and it's gonna be dark. Haven't eaten nothing all day, so I'm pretty bloody hungry, but we just gotta go. Now what we're doing, we're squeezing through these little bush tracks here. We're gonna get our way, we're gonna get our way up here. We're gonna find the kitchen. We're gonna go and have a feed. That's what's going on right now. going sideways on this beach boy. Send it, send it big doggy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the kitchen. We're about to cook up a hell of a feed right now. Little Trevally, big old stinking mullet. Two very nice eating fish in my opinion when they're fresh. We're gonna do something a little bit delicious with this first. So what we'll do is we'll put the big old mullet to the side over there. First we're gonna rip one fillet off of this fish here. Rip that knife through, rip that knife through. Look at that fillet, man. That is beautiful. Bang, right there. We have two beautiful, beautiful pieces of Trevally meat right there. Two Trevally fillets. Trevally is a nice, firm fish. Also, it is a beautiful fish to have as, as like a sashimi or like raw fish with soy sauce. So that right there is what we're gonna do now. Here we go. What you're gonna need is a lemon. Let's bust that lemon straight in half. We wanna pour that lemon juice into this bowl. That's enough lemon juice there. Next, we're gonna take soy sauce. Soy sauce in the bowl. Next up, is this tub of goodness. These are chilies straight out of our garden, which have been boiled down with a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic, salt and pepper, basically making like an Indonesian sambal kind of style stuff. So we're gonna mix all that together in there. We're gonna let that sit. We're gonna let that brew for a couple of minutes. Then we're gonna take the shoulder of that Trevally, beautiful looking fish, look at that. That is glowing. Gonna come on a 45, 30 degree angle. Get rid of that bit. We're just gonna start cutting. Nice, thin slices of fish. Look at this. Dude, this is gonna taste incredible. So what I'll do now is just give that another drizzle of lemon. Then, I'm gonna grab these busted ass chopsticks which I just found in the back of the troopy. I'm gonna grab rid of this fish. They're going straight in there. And from there, we're going straight up here. That's delicious. This is just a starter. We're gonna cook a hell feed later on. That is phenomenal, man. It's delicious. Oh. It's the right amount of spice, the right amount of lemon juice. I wish you guys could taste this right now. It's absolutely bloody beautiful. What I'm gonna do is, and it's probably gonna make some people sick, I'm gonna cut a fillet off that mullet. We're gonna have raw mullet sashimi. We're gonna try to dip it in here and taste it. Never done it before. Some people can't stand eating mullet. Some people like mullet. We're about to eat mullet raw. But anyway, this Trevally, off its head. All right, let's go. Let's eat raw mullet. That'll do it. We just need one fillet. Man, look at the color of that meat. That's beautiful. Slide the chopping board down here. Rip a layer of skin off him. Bang, just like that. Skin off, boom. Lots and lots of red blood meat on this fish. We don't want the blood meat, so we're gonna get rid of that. First, we're gonna come down. Follow this pin bone, just like this, just like this. We're gonna discard that there. Actually, we'll just cut the whole lot. We're gonna get rid, get rid of this bloody blood media. It's not gonna taste good, especially raw. Here we go. 
raw mullet for the win. Again, we're gonna cut very, very, very fine slices. I reckon it's gonna taste beautiful. Look at the color of it. You guys know mullet's an oily fish. It's very good when it's smoked. Who knows what it's gonna be like raw with that mad mix we just made, but we're about to find out. Just gonna give it that drizzle of lemon. I'm actually gonna have one piece just straight up lemon only. So this is mullet, what most people consider fishing bait. No one would eat this raw, we're gonna have a crack. Well, it's definitely different to the, definitely, definitely, definitely different to the Trevally. That's just lemon. Let's put it into this spice mix we've got down here. Mix him up. Here we go. Mmm. It's definitely, definitely different. It's not bad, but it's not as good as that Trevally. Another chunk right there. How do I sub I don't even know how to sub I don't even know how to describe that flavor. It's not good, but it's not shit. The Trevally's really good. Mullet's all right. I've just let this mullet sit in this bowl of goodness for the last like five to seven minutes. That lemon juice has very, very slightly cooked the outside of the fish. And oi, it's actually pretty good. It's made it a lot firmer. It's like pretty firm. It's not bloody bad at all. All right. Let's start cooking the main course. Ow! Put your bloody bibs on. You're gonna start dribbling all over yourself because field day's in the kitchen. Here we go, we're making up whatever we can make up right now because as I said, I've been out in the bush for a while and we don't have much, but we got butter. So we're gonna chuck a, a slab of butter straight into that pan there. Once that pan gets hot, we're gonna launch in some of this onion. Alright, that onion is going to brown up. While that onion's browning up, I've got six cloves of garlic down here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to very roughly chop these chunks of garlic up. We kind of want the nice big chunks of garlic so you can, when you scoop the fish out, you get a big, big nugget of garlic in there, you know? You never get sick if you eat this stuff, mate. Boom, boom, boom. All right, now we're gonna be taking a little bit of a risk here because that right there is called mas Massaman curry paste. Massaman, Massaman curry paste. It's still got its like plastic on the lid, except it says this expired in 2022. We're now in 2024, but because it's been sealed and never opened, I'm just gonna run it. So what we're gonna do is, I don't know, is that any good? We're eating it. Two big scoops, bang. Bang. Oh wow, I just put it all over my bloody cooker. Three scoops. Oh, that's so much. All right, we're gonna let that simmer up, juice up and feel good. Also a little bit of salt. Righto. Get this big bit of bird shit off my gas cooker. Ugh. Now it's starting to look a little bit like a kitchen. What I've had to do is Put up this little windbreak because the wind doesn't know whether it's coming or going. It's just it's just flat out going everywhere. But what we've done is we we'll put a little bit of water in with that stuff we just added, and it is looking very very good right now. We've got a beautiful simmer going on there. Coconut cream, of course. Coconut cream's going in. We're gonna bring that coconut cream up to a simmer. Mix it all together. Delicious. Oh, that is bloody good. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna play to fish. It is 50-50 mullet, it is 50-50 bloody Trevally. You can see the mullet is a little bit of a darker color. This bits here are the Trevally. Trevally, beautiful, very, very firm, delicious meat. We've got bubbling sauce. What we're gonna do now is, we're just gonna take our bad boy fillets and we're just gonna launch them straight into this mix. Bang, bang, bang. Look at that. That's real food. That is fresh food. 
That is what keeps you healthy. Kids, don't eat packets of chips and shit. Eat real food. Chocolate, no good. This, good. All right. Now we're gonna let that simmer. It's gonna take a while, but it's gonna be bloody. While I was flying the drone, like magic, the food is done. Dude, you want to see this sauce, man. This is going to be out of control. What we've got down here, we've got a poor man's bag of rice. It's already cooked. All I've got to do is empty that into there. Bang. Welcome to heaven. Bro. After a massive day in the sun, having fun in the sun, we're about to eat the first meal of the day and it is gonna be absolutely bloody beautiful. Have a go at that. Big tray of, I don't even know what we're gonna call this. It's just a busted ass curry kind of thing, but here we go, doggies, look at that. Oh my. I don't even know where the mullet is or where the trevally is in here. It's all been mixed up, but whatever I just had then tastes pretty good. Look at that, man. Oh, wow. I'm actually gonna eat this whole frying pan full of food. I'm not even joking. That is out of control. Mm. Incredible. Dude. I ate. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We just watched a banging sunset over there. I've just had one of the funnest days you'll ever have in the sun. That was a good day. We got a, we got a little bit of bait for another video, which is absolutely bloody beautiful. I'm going to sit here and smash that whole entire pan of food because that thing's off its head. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm signing out right now. I'm going to destroy that food. I'm going to go for a swim. And tomorrow, we're going to go on another adventure. So guess what? I'll see you guys next week on the next adventure. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you bash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next week on the next adventure. Much love and I'll see you next time. Yeah, doggies. Ow. One arrow, the bow. Oh no. We're tangled up here. Come to Papa. Got a nice bag of fresh freeze, fresh bait in the freezer. We're just doing it again. We're driving along this creek on the side of the bloody Ah la la speak English! Whoa 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 <laughs> Oh my goodness Bloody thing fell over didn't it? Silly bugger What I'm doing is I'm cutting across I'm, I'm cutting cross country Oh Speak English you that's good. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> it's gonna very, very, not finally, just, just bloody chop him. Don't even know what I'm saying. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys. Ah, speak English! That's what you're meant to do. Ah, <laughs>